In this video, I'm going to show you how to load multiple files using a loop. In this particular method, we're going to use, uh, you have to have a predictable file naming convention. So I started out here with a file path. So I got my file path uh, by dragging and dropping a file into the directory. And in my, dire or in my folder here, in sample data, I have two file names that have the same format, preferred walking one and preferred walking two. So the file stem for both of these files is this preferred walking name. So I've gone ahead and created a vi variable name here called file stem preferred walking underscore. And now I can load a file. So just to, to rem do this uh, string, I can concatenate my strings and I can do file path comma file stem. But then I need a number. So I can go ahead and put the number one right there. And now if I load my variable, if I run this and load my variable, it will clear all of the uh, variables in the workspace and it will load in preferred walking one. But what I want to be able to do is have it load all of the folders. So I want it to load one and then two, and then if I had more, three, four, five, and so on. So I'm going to use a loop to do that. And so I'm just going to say from i equals one to, for right now we're just going to say 2, the size of the loop. Uh, I'm going to load this, and instead of putting 1 there, I'm going to put i. But MATLAB thinks that i is a number and not a string, and for the loading the file name, it needs to be a string. So I'm going to use the command num to string, str, of i, which will convert that to a string. And then for good measure here, I'm going to add a .mat on the end because I know that my file name is a .mat structure. Then I'm going to type end, and if we watch in the right-hand window when we run this, it will load both one, preferred walking one, and preferred walking two, and we also gain this i variable over here, uh, the counter variable for our loop. So that will allow you to load in multiple data sets. Uh, we'll talk in another video about how you do something with the data. Typically you would do do stuff with the data here in the loop and then load the next file, do the same stuff. And then maybe down here at the end, you would compare data from the different sets. So we'll do more videos where we do examples with those kinds of things. See you there.